Le- yep. LeBron, um, this is probably, again, one of those not rocket science questions, but the 26 turnovers, um, how did that affect the rhythm for you guys offensively? Was it too much to overcome? I mean, uh, 92 shot attempts to 77. And it's uh, pretty much off our turnovers. I mean, they had 31 points off our turnovers. They had 19 second chance points off offensive rebounds. And that's pretty much the game right there. Well, we've talked about this group's lack of time together in late game situations. Uh, and we've talked to Darwin about the lack of practice time just available with the rapid fire NBA schedule. Is there is there a way for this team to fast track the process it's going through now, which is trying to account for a major piece missing? Or is it literally it's going to take some time to yeah. kind of stabilize? I think it's going to take some time. Um, but I also think the film sessions helps. Um, the shoot arounds that we have when we are able to get on the floor helps. Uh, we haven't played a lot of games uh, a lot, you know, every other day or you know, back to back. So haven't had much practice time. You know, um, you know, it was good to get uh, uh, Juan back tonight. Give us another body, another some more length. That was great to have him back out there with his activity. So, um, but it's going to take some time, and um, uh, let's see what goes from there. LeBron, next time we talk to you, you're going to be 38. So happy birthday in advance. Um, you know. When you're thinking about where you are in your career, are you thinking about the big picture of the team, of the season, or are you? do you find yourself right now more focused on the day-to-day? Do you kind of narrow your vision? Uh, I mean, I have, I have multiple thoughts. I mean, I think about the day-to-day of obviously how we get better throughout the course of this season, uh, but how we get better from game to game. Um, you know, I think about how much longer I'm going to play the game. Uh, I think about that... Uh, I don't want to finish my career, uh, you know, playing at this level uh, from a team aspect. Uh, I must still be able to compete for championships because I I know what I can still bring to any ball club um, with the right pieces. Um, I think about, um, you know, my son graduating high school soon and going off to college and I'm still playing and my youngest son is a junior next year and how much more time I'll miss. Um, So throughout the course of uh, a day to the weeks to the months. Think about a little bit of everything. Um, you know, think about how much of the world I'm going to see when I'm done playing the game. But um, at the end of the day, I keep the main thing the main thing. And every day when it's time for us to work, I lock in. Um, and when I have an opportunity to have a day off, I'm still kind of locked in, but I do give myself an opportunity just to kind of decompress a little bit by, um, you know, watching other teams or watching shows or spending time with my family. So um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts. But, you know, for the most part, it's been a it's been a good ride so far. LeBron, following up on that a little bit uh, last night, you know, your son's play, and it looked like you got to watch at least a, a good amount of it after your game. Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> assuming you talk to them at some point, then you have a game tonight. What's that dialogue like? How much do you talk to them about hooping versus being a dad? How do you keep your mind fresh while you're Obviously, that's got to be the thing you want to see the most. Yeah. Also, h- how do you go through all that process? Uh, well, they, they play about less than an hour again. Um, but I got an opportunity to uh, talk to them before yesterday's game. Just told them to, you know, play hard, um, play smart, and most of all, just have fun. Um, and, uh, you know, to be able to uh, get out of our game last night with a win and then be able to watch them uh, up until we took off, um, you know, it's, um, it's a joyful moment for myself. And, Tonight, since we're not leaving, I get an opportunity to watch them and watch the full game. So um, that's that's always great. Um, obviously, love being there in, in the flesh and being able to have my presence there. But um, you know, you, I got a family and um, you know people around that's done a great job of um, you know helping me in my absence. So um, that's always great. Uh, but my boys are old enough; they understand um, and they work their tails off to not only be good basketball players but also just great young men um, and. Uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Bron, you, when you were 21, you averaged 30 a game. And you haven't done it at any age since until now when you averaged 30 a game at 37. I, everyone knows how hard you work. Everyone understands that you know your place in history and all that. But just to be able to continue to score, not just I know you do more, but score at this level, at this age, I, I almost i am afraid to ask. But how, how surprised yeah, are you, you by yourself? <laughs> 
Um, I do know how much I put into the game, and I know how much I put into my body and to my mind and all those things. Uh, um, but I kind of surprised myself sometimes, um, just at the level. Uh, when you look at the history of the game, and I, obviously I've followed the game for so long since, you know, probably I was uh, maybe like eight or nine years old uh, when I started to really like, okay, this is the game that I love. <laughs> I started to read about the history of the game and, and um, you know, the people that have come through the game and how long they've doing it for and things of that nature. Um, doesn't seem like many have, you know, played at this level. You know, with this uh, many years and this many miles and um, things on their on their on their resume, so um, I'm just I'm you know I guess very humbled at the same time to be able to just play the game that I love still at this level and still be a, a, a focal point of opposing teams. Um, um, you know, when they look at the you know who they're going against, I'm I'm still up there at, at the top. You know, of you know this is how we. And we need to try to stop him or neutralize what he does and things of that nature. That's something I pride myself on, on, on being that, um, that, that level of player every single night um, when I'm on the floor. So uh, very surprising still, but uh, you know, I'm very humbled to be able to, like I said, play the game. I love to play every night, Tim. Last question, Dave. LeBron, since you kind of opened the door to it and your answer to Kyle's question, uh, uh, saying that you talk – or you think about how much longer you'll play. Uh, yeah. You know, there has been times over the last five or six years, you seem like maybe you were closer to the end. You told us you ever try to start an old car in the winter. Uh, there are other times when it seemed like others on the outside were trying to, you know, put an end, uh, have a premature ending to your yeah. career. Dennis Schroeder did an interview last week where he said he talked to you and, and you said you'd want to play seven more years till you're 45. <laughs> Were you feeling particularly springy that day? Is that an aspirational number? Um, I don't. I don't have a number. Um, I know I. Uh, as long as my mind stays in it, um, I, I can play at this level for for a minute. Um, now, you know, it's up to my mind. It's not my body. It's going to be okay because if my mind into it, my, my, I would make sure my body's taken care of and I'll continue to put in the work. Um, so um, I'm, a, I'm a winner and I want to win. And, um, you know, I want to win and, and give myself a chance to, to, to win and still compete for championships. Um, that has always been my... My passion has always been my goal since I entered the league at an 18-year-old kid out of Akron, Ohio. And I know it takes steps to get there. But once you get there and you know how to get there, um, playing basketball at this level just to be playing basketball is not, it's not in my DNA. It's not in my DNA um, anymore. So, you know, we, we see what happens and see how, how fresh my mind stays over the, over the next couple of years.